In other news here tonight, instead of all volunteers, fire departments and ambulance squads are considering paying their staff simply because membership is dwindling. But the need is not, of course. Here's 7 News reporter Chad Charette. Out of the last 105 calls the Black River Ambulance Squad has responded to, Director of Operations Alan Gaines has been at 75 of them. Shrinking membership means he can't catch a break. Eventually we're going to have to change. And change is something people don't like. Last year there were 48 members. Now there's 33. Gaines says he blames increased training requirements and shifting societal values. You have a different mindset out there today. Uh, you have a lot of me, 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 me. To meet demands, Black River Ambulance is planning to bring on paid staff. Figuring out how to pay them and when to schedule them, however, could be challenging. In today's age, you don't know when the most calls are going to be. I mean, you may get three or four back to back in one night, not get any the next day at all. So it's kind of difficult to say, hey, I need you here and there. Unlike the folks in Black River, the town of Watertown Fire Department has already brought on paid workers to help combat shortages, 14 of them to be exact. We increased the fire taxes by, I believe it was 22-ish percent. The 14 firefighters will only go so far, and as volunteers continue to dwindle, Chief Dave Johnston says he's worried. I personally think we're in crisis mode now, very close to it, but within five years it's going uh, to be scary. Chad Charette, 7 News.